hey guys it's heffany here again and today in this video i'm going to be showing you how i unravel my three strands braid i braided it last month 8th april and i last washed my hair last month 1st april so i've been exercising lately and um the sweat is making my scalp smell so i've decided to take down my three strand braids i've already done the mip the first um row and i'm continuing with the second row i'm i'm done with the first section i was doing it offline but i have decided to show you guys how i unravel it so that in case you, you come for your to be easy for you to unravel it so what you do is you take the strands I wrapped my ends around the braid so you, you gently pull it out then starting from the ends or the tips gently you start unraveling it is a three strand braid so you have to be gentle especially when you are dealing with the with the ends of your hair so that you don't create any knots or breakage we start from the from the ends. Have to be gentle, gentle, gentle. Have to be gentle, gentle, gentle. It's easy to um. It's not difficult to unravel the hair. So very easy. I didn't apply I didn't apply anything. And so we're getting to the critical part. I made them roots tight so that it will be easy for it to be unraveled. So that it doesn't create any rut. So this is just a three strands braid from that and as you can see no knot no knot because it was well straight and detangled before i put it in the three strands braid when you do that you don't create any knots make sure you if you are getting it done at anywhere, make sure you detangle the hair, stretch it well enough before you put the hair in the protective style. It is meant to protect the hair, meant to protect the hair, not to cause any damage to the hair. So I'll just divide it to two and and twist the hair. When I get to the ends of the hair, I'm going to be putting some of the herbal hair tea and the healing, uh, healing and good butter in it. But I want to unravel it first. So I'm moving on to this, the next section. We start from the, from the ends. And while doing the three strands, please make sure you don't borrow any hair strands from any section, any part of the section. I saw it you don't end up creating. Do the three strand braids again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do the three braids again.
I'm done. Maybe I can do a continue. Let me turn my back. Oh, I can start from the side of the hair. Start from the ends. Start from the ends. Because I wrapped the ends around it, it's it's stretched. It's still stretched. That is the main reason why I have to stretch the hair well enough. And after braiding, you wrap the hair the ends around the braid so that it protects your ends from single strand knots and single strand knots and what's called split ends protects it from humidity and the harsh weather conditions so then with this part of the section, always remember that when you unravel your hair from a protective style, you don't just leave it like that and be sleeping in it anyhow. My clients, some of them, they've been doing that. Whenever that they come for a protective style and they unravel, they leave it like that. They sleep in it. They do whatever in it. They don't even put their hair in a certain money then it will shrink create more knots it is bad it's a bad practice don't do that whenever that you unravel your hair if you can't do anything to the hair just put it in a chunky twist you can put like if the braids are smaller you can put it you can add more of the sections together and put it in a chunky twist twist that will rather will help the hair to still stretch the hair and it won't cause more knots and and and, and, and single strand knots and it will match the hair and when you do that it's easy to detangle so don't uh, if you want to grow your hair long don't ever unravel your hair and leave your hair like that without putting it in a chunky twist if you are not ready don't unravel your hair but if you are ready you can unravel your hair so i'm done with this part too i'm done with this part too
enti eti no e na masan ye wi ye no na misan ye wi se ya ma me ka bi bi nche mo one secret secret ne se se o wa she wit si no na o moisturize na o o o put in na when you put your hair in a protective style don't be putting oils and butters in the hair every day is very very bad what you have to do is once in a week you spread it with some herbal hair tea like hefani's herbal hair tea then you apply a little amount of the butter and the oil on your finger part massage your scalp in circular motions rub it between your palms and spread through your braids just that don't be applying taking plenty butter oils scooping it and be putting it on your scalp it will create too much build-ups see i have braided this hair the three strands braids um last month eight and i the last time that i even washed my hair was first april but my scalp is still fresh so and so sunny would see me via making sure say who no more bread dry and not twist it savings if the braids are bigger or uh, no smaller put like um a section of the vet together and twist it and wrap the ends to protect your ends your ends are the oldest part of the hair don't expose it too much else it will create more single strand knots and split ends which, and at the end of the day it will break and fray off so as i am done unraveling it you see i put it in two strand twists yes because i don't want to create any knots and split ends i'm going to detangle the hair tomorrow and i'm going to take another video on how i detangle these sections i've i've told you guys that from now forward i am putting my hair in the 28 sections like every time it is in 28 section i'll wash in 28 sections i'll detangle in 28 sections i will braid in 28 sections it makes my work so easier effortless because i'm tired of putting the hair together sectioning it so now i've already pre-sectioned the hair in 28 sections although the section are not as clean as i want i don't have anybody that will give me that clean you know section so i'll just take the sections like that uh -huh. and i want you guys since i'm not gonna um detangle my hair now i'm going to be putting it in a high puff because i've been exercising you guys all know that i've been exercising for the past three days now so i'm going to put it in a high in a high Be tight because it doesn't have to be tight. So I can either wrap it, either I'll just push it in the grate. Under there, 
band under the band under the band under the band under the band under because i'll be exercising tomorrow and i don't want it to worry maybe uh, i will lie on my back so look at this up here this is better no bobby pin i have just styled my hair i hate bobby pins though i hate them <laughs> i hate bobby pins so this is it i'm done to remember treat your hair with love and care and it will love you back don't forget that don't ever forget that see you guys next time love you all Mwah, mwah.